basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the samples, I'm going to weigh them out, hopefully around 3 grams a piece, and then I will macerate them, cut them up and macerate them with sea sand. It's going to be um, sterilized sea sand. Right. With a little bit of sea cap. And then basically they will go into a flask with about 20 mils of sea cap buffer. Right. DNA extraction buffer. And they will go into water baths at 65 degrees for about an hour. And then they will, um, I will add chloroform <laughs> um, uh, and isoamyl alcohol. Right. And that's about 10 mils of that to the, to the um, macerated tissue. It'll be spun down in the centrifuge. The supernatant will be removed. And then the process will be repeated with the supernatant and the, the chloroform and ice cream lab. And how long is it going to take before you get a result from all this? Uh, basically, by the end of the day, if not this afternoon, we will have the DNA extracted from the plant. Mm -hmm. And then um, we have to just run aliquots of the DNA out on a gel, clean up an aliquot of the DNA also with a DNA cleanup kit, and run those out on a gel. And then by tomorrow, we should be able to set up PCRs Okay. the cytoplasma. Great. I mean, the, th the thing that Nigel was saying to me, of course, was that we should take about samples from five plants yeah. to um, give you a good okay, uh, sampling of the population. The roots down here, we're not going to do anything with them. No. They were just for looking at uh, with regard to possible fusarium infections. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah.